Hello from Toronto, Canada, and you're watching the show with Say Frank. So this is the time of year that we think about thanks. It's kind of a difficult topic. Part of the problem is that we've reduced something so big and complicated into two syllables. Something as important as gratitude should be 60,000 syllables. It should take like a half a day to say, like an incantation. And I'm not talking about the little thank yous, the ones you murmur when somebody holds the door for you. I'm talking about the big ones. When I think about thanking someone, like really thanking someone, sitting down and taking the time to list out and explain what I'm grateful for, I notice a couple things start to happen. The first thing that happens is I start feeling the but. Like, I'm grateful for so many different qualities, but there's some <laughs> that aren't that great. And it's especially true when I think about things that I'm grateful for in myself. The first thing that happens <laughs> is I feel the but. And the second thing that I notice is some kind of anxiety. Like it's gonna be a total out of control moment. I don't know how to describe it. It's like uh, I'm gonna be misinterpreted or I'm just not gonna, I don't know, have control. And when I think about anxiety, it has to do with the unknown, like the fear of the unknown. What are people saying about me? What's gonna happen in the future? and all of that within the context of fear. And it feels strange to me that I get anxious when I think about thanking someone, but it sort of makes sense because thanking someone is also about the unknown and a loss of control or being out of control. For me, gratitude seems to be the recognition and the love of something outside of myself, something that I don't have control over and something that I don't even know that I deserve. And there's something scary about that being thankful for someone who could leave you or circumstances that could change. I guess most of the time I think about thanks and thankfulness in terms of things that I'm thankful for or making people feel good about things that they do for me. But I don't spend that much time thinking about the feeling of gratitude. And I think it's a cousin to love. And I think it is a little bit out of control. And it does come with a little bit of anxiety. I had this moment on Twitter the other day. It was in the morning pretty early, and uh, I think I experienced what gratefulness or thankfulness is. Um, it was a moment of love. I know that sounds cheesy, uh, but I don't mind being cheesy right now. It started, uh, you know, just kind of like as a warmth and then spread out. It was pretty quick. When I described it on Twitter, somebody referred to it as the pea shivers. <laughs> And I think that's kind of close. I was thankful to be connected to all these people. And I don't know, it's a, it's a confusing feeling because I don't know a lot of them. And it feels pretty unknown and out of control. But there is this thing about it. It's, it's amazing. And it only lasted for a second, like I said, like this humility, this warmth, but I think it's kind of what I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to try something different this year. Instead of doing a big laundry list of all the different things that I'm thankful for, I'm going to think of one thing or one person that I'm grateful for, and I'm going to try to take it really seriously. I have to think about what that one thing is going to be. What would it be for you? Happy Thanksgiving. And if you're not in the U.S., Happy Thanksgiving. Bye bye, so bye bye, song bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, it's the bye bye song. Bye bye, it's the bye bye song.